the battle between God, Nazi Germany and Soviet Russia. Join me an atheist as I read God, the science, the evidence. Part three, the Big Bang. The Big Bang is a physical theory that describes how the universe started out as a tiny singularity before expanding rapidly to eventually create the reality we know today. It was originally proposed by Russian scientist Alexander Friedman, the Belgian priest and astronomer Georges Lemaitre, and the American astronomer Edwin Hubble. As many of you might know, the Big Bang was actually a derogatory term used by Fred Hoyle in a BBC broadcast, where he was using it to almost say like the idea of a Big Bang was childish. Now, the authors of this book about God say that the reason for a lot of the backlash to the idea of a Big Bang is it because it says that the universe had a beginning. And for them, if the universe had a beginning, it must have had a creator God. It wasn't just the scientific community that struggled to accept that the universe had a very definite beginning. There was also a nefarious political backlash with devastating consequences. At this time, the Soviet Union was at the height of its powers and influenced by the intellect of Karl Marx and Frederick Engels and the idea of dialectical materialism. In short, the problem for the Soviet Union was that the idea of dialectical materialism postulated that matter was eternal. The Big Bang Theory was saying that there was a beginning to all of existence and all matter. The atheistic Soviet state, led by Vladimir Lenin and then later Joseph Stalin, began a chilling crackdown on any scientific dissenters who started to talk about the idea of a finite universe that didn't stretch infinitely into the past. At this time, between early to mid 20th century, there was another state superpower on the rise, Nazi Germany. The German scientist Albert Einstein was becoming increasingly unsafe, partly because of his support now for a definite beginning to the universe and the Big Bang, but also because he was a Jewish scientist. In 1933, Einstein fled to the USA. The authors have spent just a little bit of time talking about the failure of alternative scientific explanations as to how a universe could come from nothing. For them, the only good explanation is a creator, God. I'm going to withhold my judgment for as long as I can. I want to see the whole idea presented together before I do an in-depth review here and on other platforms.